All right, something I want to show you guys quickly that I just learned from one, watching one of Salius's videos that I want to pass along to you is that you can actually use uh, flow ports in conjunction with parametrics and IBDs to show how things are flowing through your system, but then you can also do some parametrics with, with those, which is pretty neat. So if you notice here, I have a simple system architecture with a system block and a flow port going in, flow port going out. And then I have a subsystem A, subsystem B, and each of those have an in port and an out port. And one important thing to keep in mind here is that you need to ensure that your ports that are flowing from one to the next are compatible, meaning that they need to have, they either need to be the same type, so you need to type them, that is one thing to keep in mind, or they one that is downstream needs to either be the same type or a more specific type of, right? So if you had some type of a, a more specific type of something that you've defined in your model, that would also be an acceptable flow port on the downstream side of that. So I created an IBD inside of the system block, which is what you see here. It has an in system port, that's the name of the port, and then its type is dollars, so it's pulling in a value that I'll define later, and then it sends that to subsystem A. Now, inside of subsystem A, I've actually created a parametric diagram. So if you look here, I put a flow port on the context frame of the parametric diagram and typed that by dollars as well. And then I have a simple equation here that says P2 equals P1 times five. So the output equals this input times five. And then that's a, just a simple parametric equation. And then it outputs to the, to the outside of that part property. And if you look back at the IBD, that, that would be the output here. So it'll send that value now to subsystem B. And in subsystem B, I've created a simple parametric again, and that just takes that value that it pulls in and divides it by two. So then when you run this, what you'll see is you, you should run the system block and click run. Now if I type in a number here, let's say 65, what you'll see is it takes it in there, multiplies by five, sends it to subsystem B, Divides that by two, and that should output to 162.5. There you go. Pretty neat, huh?